The one thing I like about getting older is seeing yourself change. Because there are some things when I was younger, I was like, I don't like that. It's not for me. I'm not into that. But now I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I would say I'm definitely more of type B person. I'm not really type A. I'm definitely like, yeah, it's all gonna get done. It's all good. It's fine. And then nothing gets done because I don't, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I, don't, I just end up doing nothing. <laughs> the best thing that's been helping me do this whole scheduling thing is writing things down. Seeing it all out there on paper helps me figure out how to go about it without it overwhelming me. Hopefully I can keep it up because I do really enjoy it. It's made a positive impact in my life. I gotta say before quarantine, I really did not like cleaning my room. I would always have to clean at work too, which was the ironic part is that when you're bartending or work at a restaurant, you're typically always cleaning something. I would clean more at work than I did at home. <laughs> it was only really until quarantine when I really truly appreciated cleaning and having just a clean space to live in. I think also because I spend so much more time in my room now. My room is essentially my workspace. That's a big reason why I like to keep it clean. That was actually something that really helped me whenever I was really swamped behind the bar and it was crazy stressful and busy, was cleaning, like putting things back in their place, making sure my station is set all nicely. Those little things really helped me kind of calm down. <laughs> Now I really like it. I think it more so because of, I love how it makes me feel when I see things all nice and clean. It feels nice. I think that's just a personal thing. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with having a cluttered environment. It just doesn't work for me because it makes me feel more anxious. I mean, I don't love it, but I like it way more than I used to. <laughs> I think it's because I've really gone out of my way to get better at cooking. Personally, I believe that cooking is a life skill and no matter what gender you are, everyone should know how to make food from themselves. It's also really helped a lot with my confidence because being able to make a recipe and it comes out good is, oh my God. You're just like, oh man, I'm, I'm so smart. <laughs> you gotta find like your style. You know, some people wanna be doing all this stuff I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I wanna be doing less stuff, but still big flavor. You'd be surprised, because I was, at how you don't really need a super complicated recipe to make something that tastes good. I find this one so funny, because I worked in nightlife for basically all of my 20s. Doing that for the past decade and switching to over to morning has been a really cool adjustment for me. I really like it, but I think it's not for everyone. I think some people are definitely like night people, like they're night owls and you have to figure out which one is best for you. I think in the book Rest, I read that, like people have an optimal time of performance and you have to figure out your time. I definitely am much more of a morning person. I just really like how quiet everything is and I like watching the sunrise too, like seeing the sun come out is a really nice feeling because it was usually the other way around you know I would watch the sunset <laughs> at work and be like oh okay <laughs> I just find I have the best energy in the morning and usually when it gets to late night I'm like done I'm not doing nothing this is when I actually started doing when I was around 23, only because of customers at the bar. It was always whenever I worked in neighborhoods with mostly older clientele, so Midtown and West Village, I had a lot more older guests. They actually taught me about meditation. And when that many people have told you that this one thing has helped them, and you could see it too, like I remember the customers that told me this because I remember how chill they were and how laid back and fun they were. Just because you drink doesn't mean you can't meditate. <laughs> They just seemed at peace and calm. And I wanted to be like that because I'm a super anxious person. That's how I run normally. Some days it's lower, but at most, almost every day, it's always there. Like I feel it. I feel it right now. <laughs> when I first started too, it was so hard. I realized how much my thoughts controlled me. I've been doing it for over five years now and it's not always been consistent. It's definitely an up and down relationship, but I do have to say it's helped me a lot, especially whenever it was super crazy busy at the bar. People would always ask me like, how do you do it? How do you handle having so much to do at that moment? Hey, come on, man, I got four people waiting for me. I'm not coming back here with three drinks. I know, I'm coming for the twist, absolute on the rocks, you'll be the tonic and a velvet hammer. So what I order? 
meditation really helped me focus and just chill out in my head because I would be like, breathe, <laughs> breathe. <laughs> the breath can really help you calm down. And I like that feeling. And I like also being a calm person. It hasn't necessarily made me less anxious. It's definitely helped me just more aware of it. My radar is much stronger for how I'm feeling. And I've learned to self-soothe myself through meditation. I would say I lean more towards the introvert side of things, but after working in a bar, I love my extroverts. Cause I feel like introverts have a time in their life where like introverts are the best. <laughs> but there are times where I'm around an extrovert and I'm like, that's why you're so great. <laughs> Because when I was younger, I was really quiet and shy and intimidated me socializing. It was it felt kind of scary, but I think after having to talk to people for like years on end as a bartender, I've gotten really good at talking to people. I know what to ask, how to gauge and feel people out. It's funny because this person I went to school with once sat at the bar that I was working at and he was like, you're a bartender? <laughs> he remembered me from school. He was like, you were always so quiet. And I was like, yeah, I don't know how this happened. <laughs> I think 16 year old me would be like, you? I'm like, I know. <laughs> I guess that's the beauty and mystery of life and why we should never limit ourselves because you never know. You never know. <laughs> oh yeah, until next time. Bye.